How to not get started in Wuthering Waves. Step 1. Download the game. Step 2. Choose your character. Unfortunately, it was bugged and they only had one option. Step 3. Start the game by falling from the sky into water. That wasn't water, but also the sky. Then we turned unconscious. After we wake, we get greeted by Blue Girl and Red Girl. Me, who unfortunately had to choose the MC with boobs, I'm not really helping the male-female distribution here. But I'm sure the game will balance it out at some point, right? The Powerpuff Girls proceed forward as they tell me about the world and that we need to avoid dangerous enemies. One second later, they guided me straight to the next dangerous enemy. Being the protagonist I am, I defeated it with no issues. During that time, the girls told me about their lost friend. They told me they were some kind of stand user. Whatever that means. After we jumped off a cliff, we immediately found a girl with a stand. This pet master lady ordered a creature to check if I'm wearing deodorant. You are alright, it seems. Apparently, this field was dangerous. But we were also missing the cognitive senses to realize having a tea party at this spot might be a bad idea. Our master also wasn't aware that we are attracting enemies, because one frame later we got jump scared by an alien. Seems like our pet master is also a master baiter. Of course, I won the fight with ease because I'm the main character. Time. You fucking asshole. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Come back here! Oh, come on! Now die! Haha, <laughs> wait. And after it vanished, it left behind an outline. Someone hasn't showered in a while. I then learned that we can suck up the outlines to keep them as Pokemon. But apparently my power level was too low so I couldn't consume this enemy. But then I remembered I'm the protagonist, so I did it anyways. Our group of eight now visited the big city that is in every gacha game. We then met our first male character, a doctor, and quickly after we unlocked our ability to gamble. Maybe here you can pull another male character and see what they look like. Uh. Alright, still on the lookout for more characters, we got introduced to Monk Girl. To continue the quest, our group then explored the open world together. But I kinda went min picking off path and grabbed anything that could be collected. While I'm doing my quests, definitely in chronological order, the next small town had a little surprise for me. A cool red dude with a large scar on his face approached me. I wondered what his epic name could be. Yes, it's Scar. So far, every character has black, red or white hair. It's probably better to not ask Twitter about this. I felt like my quest for day one was complete. My impression so far, most characters got a great personality, so I'm not complaining. To end the day, I did another 10 pull, hoping to get something new. You son of a-